If the sun ran using coal or petroleum, it would burn out quickly and we would all die. Fortunately, it doesn't. So then how is the sun still burning even after 4.5 billion years? Think of the sun as an enormous nuclear power plant in outer space. The sun produces energy by nuclear fusion and nuclear power plants produce energy by nuclear fission. The following are the steps of the life of a star. First, hydrogen atoms condense into an atom cloud due to the gravitational pull of the atoms. When the hydrogen atoms get close enough to each other, they get denser every second. At this step, when the temperature and the pressure gets high enough, the star is able to get the hydrogen protons close enough to each other for the strong force to take over the Coulomb force and nuclear fusion starts. During this process, it begins to offset the actual gravitational force. This force will keep the star from collapsing into itself. When deuterium atoms and tritium atoms fuse into helium atoms and neutrons, the mass combination will be less than the sum of the masses of the individual nuclei. If the combined nuclear mass is less than that of iron at the peak of the binding energy curve, then the nuclear particles will be more tightly bound than they were in the lighter nuclei, and that decrease in mass is converted into energy according to the equation E equals mc squared. E equals mc squared explains the mass being converted into energy. The sun releases energy at the mass energy conversion rate of 4.26 million metric tons per second. The relativistic energy expression, E equals mc squared, is a statement about the energy an object contains as a result of its mass. Energy can exist in many forms, and the sun is always burning, changing its mass into energy, and it emits light as a result. While that is the theoretical process of a normal star, the sun doesn't go through this process. The sun is far too cool for nuclear fusion to happen as in larger and hotter stars. For nuclear fusion to happen on Earth, we need to heat up the hydrogen atoms about 100 times hotter than the sun to happen. The sun's temperature is approximately 13,600,000 Kelvin, and on Earth, we need to raise it to about 1,360,000,000 Kelvin. So how does the sun constantly produce energy? The sun actually goes through a process called quantum tunneling. Quantum tunneling is where a particle tunnels through a potential barrier with small probabilities that is impossible to tunnel through in classical physics. For the sun to start a fusion reaction, the proton in the hydrogen atom needs to overcome the nuclear repulsion. The repulsion is the potential barrier that would stop the deuterium atoms and tritium atoms from fusing into helium atoms. However, in quantum tunneling, Particles that don't have enough energy can pass the barrier with an extremely small probability. This phenomenon can happen because of the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. In Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, everything can have a wave particle quality, which means that protons can display wave characteristics. Because of the wave characteristic, the hydrogen protons can overcome the repulsion and fuse anyway without enough energy, temperature, or pressure. The probability of the hydrogen protons fusing is small, but since the sun has so many hydrogen atoms, quantum tunneling happens very frequently. The fusion of two hydrogen protons happens approximately 9.2 times 10 to the 37th power times each second. The probability of fusing is small considering the enormous mass of the sun, but it is producing a large amount of energy in our point of reference. Therefore, the sun is burning even after 4.5 billion years because it has so many hydrogen atoms. The hydrogen atoms are fusing with each other through quantum tunneling. Because quantum tunneling has such a small probability of happening, and the number of hydrogen atoms fusing is small relative to how much hydrogen the sun has, the sun has so much more fuel waiting to be converted into energy through fusion. Thanks to quantum mechanics, for providing us sunlight every day.